The story of Soho Place is a story of two parts. There's the part you can see, and then there's everything that lies beneath. And while the part that's in view exudes an impressive kind of drama, the really spectacular theatrical stuff happens out of sight. What you can see of Soho Place is two buildings. They sit stately and rather serenely across a new public realm that provides Soho its first new street name in over 70 years and links Soho Square to Charing Cross Road. The southeast corner of Oxford Street is its home, embracing the station of Tottenham Court Road. Amidst the bustle and rush of central London, Soho Place is a calm, scented presence of office, retail, culture, and yes, the first new West End theatre in over 50 years. But the drama doesn't end there. As we inch underground, take a look around and notice just how complex and crowded it is down here. At one Soho place, there are as many floors below ground as above, which needed to be built with fastidious accuracy into a veritable spaghetti junction of pre-existing infrastructure, making up the already almost absurdly busy transportation interchange of the Northern, Central and Elizabeth lines. Imagine the most giant and intricate game of Twister, or a humongous Swiss watch, where every moving part must be precise to the literal millimeter. Not so much threading through the eye of a needle, as passing multiple colossal threads through the same small needle's eye. And the threads we're dealing with are hefty piles driven into place by massive machines to secure 10 stories of state-of-the-art offices on top, all taking shape in delicately packed earth around Victorian-era infrastructure more than 100 years old. So you might imagine the precision required. An engineering feat. And if precision was the name of the game for one Soho place, then for two and four, it's a story of sound. Not so much for the sleek offices on the upper floors, but for the theatre space on the ground. Because good theatre requires exquisite sound. And the vibrating ground of high-speed trains mere metres away, plus the vast extractor fans for the Elizabeth Line tunnels, which produce the equivalent decibels to a 747 jumbo jet and can be switched on at a moment's notice, don't exactly fit the bill. To overcome this seemingly insoluble problem of sound, the whole building floats in silence above the Elizabeth Line station as a box within a box. Within a box. The theatre and its separate rehearsal studio are suspended separately in air on a bed of springs, creating an auditorium so silent and acoustically fine. Those trains can thunder by all they like, all night, but inside, whispering. It's silently superb. Soho Place is a story 16 years in the making, featuring a vast cast of thousands, accumulating millions of hours of craft, graft, and expertise. A true epic, well deserving of its Bream Outstanding and Lead Gold Awards. And so, to everyone involved, do stand and accept your applause.